So what are, what's the downside of doing this? Because a lot of people are, well, striving to create digital art. We have someone in our community named Brandon Blevins who's already just making some masterpieces. We have Chris Rimbolt, we have uh, Joseph Musso, yourself. How does someone either protect the downside or what are the risks of NFTs? What are the downsides? Um, so um, I'm, I'm, not, I'm currently uh, not, I haven't made a drop yet at this point. Uh, I'm actually standing on the sidelines. Let me give you, um, there's kind of two sides to this. There's kind of the, the investor and all the money flooding in. And there's also kind of the, the artistic community. I'm, I'm kind of stuck in the middle because I'm an investor. Uh, you know, I like making money like, you know, uh, most of us do, right, as far as an investor. Uh, but I'm also tied into this thing called the art world, right? And that's kind of my, my passion, right? And this is something that I spent all my life doing, probably anything. Uh, I've been an artist doing art for as long as I can remember. And it's, it's the thing that I have the most time in, right? So... Uh, I'm obviously uh, pretty passionate about this, but besides that, um, there is an environmental impact of uh, NFTs, right? Um, this is via the process called mining, right? Uh, to uh, authenticate that ownership, that uh, digital uh, certificate of authenticity, if you will, um, it has to be mined, right? Those transactions have to be mined. Uh, currently, uh, the Ethereum, those smart contracts in the mining process uh, run off a proof of um, proof of work, right? Um, and basically, proof of work is you have to run a lot of uh, complicated math algorithms to verify that ownership. Um, that does have uh, ecological impact uh, as far as all the energy being pulled. Now, um, this is where it gets kind of interesting too, because upon further research, uh, China is the, the leading, um, th that's where most of the mines are, right? So, you know, if you had somewhere where most of the mining came from renewable sources, it wouldn't be such of uh, ecological impact on, on the world, if that makes sense. So uh, China, their grid primarily runs off fossil fuels. Uh, it runs off, you know, um, coal, which is pretty dirty. Um, it does heat up the environment. So if, since the majority of the mining, the power is coming essentially from that, it does have some adverse uh, e ecological uh, aspects to it, if that makes sense. Uh, I know it can get a little deep, but hopefully I kind of explained that um, fair enough. Now, the, the bright side to this is that there's other coins that run off a uh, proof of stake, which is a lot less, um, I guess, intensive as far as the computation, right? Uh, and that's a lot better for the environment, if that makes sense. Also, Ethereum, they've been talking about this for a while but moving from a proof of work to a proof of state and i'm not going to get into the whole nuances of that but um it just takes less computational power and thus it affects the environment least now uh, obviously um you know from my standpoint there's just like uh, as far as artists there's a lot of debates a lot of misinformation out there uh, but that is one of the downsides in my opinion right uh just to be fair um, and then the other one yeah. I, I would say is kind of the purity. Um, so you're a, a stock market investor, right? And I guess I'll kind of um, frame this in a way that you could kind of see. But, um, you know, you, you've been an investor for all your life. Uh, 2020 has brought in a lot of uh, investors and maybe a lot of YouTubers, right? A lot of YouTubers are making content, right? So you're a true practitioner of your craft, right? You study uh, how to get in and out of trades. And, you know, maybe I'm the new guy on the block and I see the money, right? Because basically now there's a lot of money in here and it attracts people that maybe don't care so much about the art, if that makes sense, right? Just like it's, mm. um, you know, the, the interest in stock market, maybe it's attracting a lot of people that are not true practitioners of technical analysis, right? Of day trading. So maybe I come in and I'm telling people to buy at all time highs, right? And maybe they are making money, but or maybe I'm telling people to get out of positions when it's right at support, right? So somebody like you that's passionate about your craft, that you put all your life into this, you might be like, well, that's BS, right? That's that's not how you do it, right? So somebody like me that spent, uh, and there's a lot of artists like this that spend years perfecting their craft, right? Um, and you know, it, it could be a little bit disheartening seeing. Uh, a JPEG that took five minutes 
selling for millions of dollars. That's not always the case. And there are reasons that I'm going to dive into a little later. But, you know, this could kind of be the same way with you. You know, you might see a YouTuber blow up and, you know, see kind of misinformation. They, they didn't really put the time that you put in. They don't have the passion. You know they're in it for the quick buck. And as soon as NFT dies down, they're not going to be talking about this anymore, if that makes sense.